with its Aleha and Hatz subclasses, the Saar 4.5 class has a distinctive place in their type. They have many different features compared to their counterparts in the world. These fast attack crafts are the fruits of Israeli naval experiences forged in real combat. Today we're investigating the Saar 4.5 class, the modern Davids who challenged the Goliaths. The Saar 4.5 class is dauntless warriors of the Israeli Navy's missile boat fleet. These fast attack crafts offer great combat capability inverse to their small size. They have played crucial roles in many regional conflicts, operations and wars since the 1990s. The Saar 4.5 class was the logical evolution of the previous Israeli missile boat classes which had been equipped with the locally developed short-range Gabriel anti-ship missiles. In the late 1970s, Israel acquired the extended-range RGM-84 harpoons from the USA. However, the Israeli Navy did not have over-horizon targeting capability, so it required a new vessel that could accommodate a helicopter. Israel had already worked on this capability. In 1977, the Saar 4-class missile boat INS Tarshish was modified for helicopter operations. Her 76mm stern gun was dismantled to equip her with a helipad. Using this experience, Israel shipyards began to design the new vessel, a stretched version of the previous Saar 4 class. It would have a hangar and helipad. The first boat of the new class, now called Saar 4.5, INS Aleha, was launched and commissioned on July 30, 1980. The Israeli Navy designated the vessel as the Chohit class first and the Aleha class later. Initially, Israel had planned to build five vessels of this class. The helipad and hangar limited the space on the boat for a big gun. Also, they reduced the number of missiles. So, its combat capability was less than the Israeli Navy's expectations. Thus, Israel required bigger surface combatants with a helipad and hangar, which would lead to the SAR-5 program. So, after completing the first two boats, Israel shipyards changed the design. The other three vessels of the class would be more conventional missile boats. INS Wamach and INS Keshet, the first two were commissioned in 1981 and 1982 respectively. The last boat, INS Nirit, was laid down in 1984. However, Israel now focused on the Saar 5 class. So the Navy demanded some modifications on the boat to turn her into a test platform for the new Corvette subsystems. INS Nirit was fitted with vertical launching systems for air defense missiles. Her deck was also highly modified. Because of this work and budget cuts, the boat's construction took a long time. During this time, her name was changed to INS Hatz. The vessel was launched in 1990 and commissioned in 1991. The result was spectacular. So, the previous INS Romach and INS Keshet were upgraded to INS Hatz standards. Thus, these three boats have become another subclass of the Saar 4.5, the Hatz class, while INS Aleha and INS Geula have become the Aleha subclass. Three Saar 4 class boats, INS Hidon, INS Tarshish, and INS Yafo, were rebuilt as the Saar 4.5 class in 1997 and 1998. Later, two other Saar 4 class vessels, INS Harev and INS Sufa, were converted to the Hatz class in 2002 and 2003. The semi displacement steel hull is essentially designed for high speed sailing. The superstructure is made of aluminum alloys and covered with radar absorbent materials. The design also reduces the radar cross section. The superstructure is suitably cooled to minimize the thermal signature. The boat's overall radar signature is also reduced thanks to the reduced profile of the hull. Compared to the previous SAR 4 class, the SAR 4.5 class has a broader internal volume and provides better living conditions for the crew. These vessels can operate at up to sea state 6. Today, Israel keeps only 8 boats of the Hatz subclass. Two Alaha subclass vessels were decommissioned in 2004 and sold to Mexico. The Mexican Navy still operate them under the designation of Huracan class. Besides, the Hellenic Coast Guard uses a modified patrol boat version of the Saar 4.5 class with only a 30mm gun and two remote controlled 12.7mm machine guns. 
two vessels were built in Israel and the third in Greece. The OPV-62 class patrol boats of Azerbaijan, Cyprus and Honduras are also designed based on the SAR 4.5 class. The complement of the HATS subclass is 53 people. It has a length of 61.7 meters, a beam of 7.6 meters and a drought of 2.5 meters. The standard and fully loaded displacements are 375 and 496 tons respectively. Four 4150 horsepower MTU 16V538 TB93 diesel engines provide a maximum speed of 31 knots. The boat's range is 3000 nautical miles, in other words 5560 kilometers at an economical speed of 17 knots. Only the first three HATS class vessels have a length of 61.7 meters while the rest are 58 meters long. The complement of the Huracan class of the Mexican Navy is 53 people. It has a length of 61.7 meters, a beam of 7.6 meters and a drought of 2.8 meters. The standard and fully loaded displacements are 375 and 506 tons respectively. Four 3,750 horsepower MTU 16V956 TB91 diesel engines provide a maximum speed of 31 knots. The boat's range is 3,000 nautical miles, in other words, 5,560 kilometers, at an economical speed of 17 knots. The Huracan and Hats classes have the H band Neptune surface and air surveillance radars with a 45 kilometer range. Some Hats class boats have been re equipped with the S band ELM 2258 Alpha 3D long range air surveillance and tracking radar with a 200 kilometer range. It can track a fighter-sized aircraft at a range of up to 120 km and a sea skimming missile with an up to 25 km. The Mexican missiles are fitted with the I-band RTV-10X Orion fire control radar. The HETS class has the IKJ-band ELM-2221 fire control radar that can track a highly maneuverable air or surface target. Its target acquisition range is 30 km for the fighters and 15 km for the missiles. The radar can guide the Barakman missile within a range of up to 10 km. The ELM-2221 can direct the 76mm gun against surface and air targets within an effective range of 20 and 4 km respectively. The HATS class has three different types of decoy launchers. Depending on the models, 140 decoys on the vessel in total provide a protective cover at a range of between 1.8 and 14 km. This feature makes the HETS class the best protected missile boat in the world. Initially, both subclasses were equipped with the Harpoon and Gabriel Mark II anti ship missiles. But the Israeli Navy now retired the Gabriel Mark IIs. The boats of the Mexican Navy do not have the Harpoons. The HETS class carries up to 8 RGM 84 Harpoons with a maximum speed of Mach 0.85 and a range of 124 km. The missile has a 222 kg warhead and a guidance system consisting of inertial navigation and active radar. The Huracan class carries four semi-active radar and manual guided Gabriel Mark II with a maximum speed of Mach 0.7 and a range of 36 km. The missile has a 150 kg warhead. The HETS class is equipped with the Barak-1. Vertically launched from the two 8-cell pods, this commental line of sight guided air defense missile has a speed of Mach 2 and an effective range of 10 km. It is equipped with a 22 kg warhead. The Barak 1 has a reaction time of 6 seconds and can conduct 45G maneuvers. In the past, some HATS class boats were spotted with four vertical launching pods, which might be mounted on the vessel just for trials. The HETS class has one 76mm compacto gun with an effective range of 4 and 16 km for air and surface targets, respectively. Its rate of fire is 85 rounds per minute. The SAR 4.5 class vessels have one Mark 15 Phalanx close-in weapon system with an effective range of 1.5 km and a rate of fire of 4,500 rounds per minute. The phalanxes of some boats have been dismantled or replaced by the 25mm Typhoon 25 remote-controlled weapon system. Initially, the SAR 4.5-class boats were equipped with 20mm guns, which were later dismantled. 
Today the vessels are fitted with 7.62 or 12.7mm machine guns depending on the mission. On demand, the SAR 4.5 class can be equipped with anti-submarine warfare systems such as active low-frequency towed sonar and lightweight homing torpedoes. The Israeli Navy began to equip some HETS class boats with the Spike and LOS missiles for precision attack capability against coastal targets. The phalanxes of these vessels have been replaced by a new radar. As mentioned, the first two SAR 4.5 class boats have aviation facilities. They are the smallest surface combatants with a helipad and hangar. During Israeli service, the Navy deployed the Bell 206, MD 500, HH-65 or Panther helicopters on the vessels. The Israeli Navy had planned to use the helicopter for over-horizon targeting, but the performance was not satisfactory. Also, Israel has not experienced any long-range naval engagement since the 1980s. So, during Israeli service, generally the utility and attack helicopters had been deployed on the Aleha class. Also, Many times the helipad had been used to carry inflatable boats and the hangar had accommodated the commandos. The Huracan class of the Mexican Navy initially carried the BO-105 CBS-5s. Since their retirement, the AS-565 MB Panther had been deployed on the vessel. Just before the 1982 Lebanon War broke out, INS Gaula was in the shipyard for repair. The work was completed immediately and she joined the war as the command ship of the landing operation. However, the boat had no heavy gun for the shore bombardment and there was no naval target for her harpoons and gabrias. So INS Geola did not fire an anger during the war. Two years later, two Alaha class vessels were deployed to destroy a terrorist facility in Nahrul Baridi located in northern Lebanon. They were carrying a total of four MD-500 defenders. Thus, the Israeli Navy conducted a ship-based air operation in combat for the first time. These helicopters performed successful precision air strikes using their anti-tank missiles against the targets. The HATS class has played crucial roles in Israeli operations since the early 2000s. They were frequently used for fire support, shore shelling and naval blockade missions. One of the most notable took place in the Mediterranean in 2011. INS Sufa intercepted the freighter Victoria which was headed to the Gaza Strip. The Israeli Navy seized lots of ammunition, including C-704 anti-ship missiles. Three years later, INS Hetz intercepted the merchant vessel Close Sea, which carried rockets for Hamas in the Red Sea. During the Israel-Hamas war in 2024, Hetz-class boats intercepted missiles and unmanned aerial vehicles over the Red Sea. The Israeli Navy plans to replace these boats with the future Reshev-class ships. These 76 meter long vessels will be based on the SAR 72 class corvette. The SAR 4.5 class was a logical next step for the Israeli missile boat program. These vessels were not just coastal water combatants. They have also increased the blue water operational capability of the Israeli Navy. They have supported the ground operations and protected the Israeli waterways. With their distinguished service records, the SAR 4.5 class has become an unforgettable naval legend for Israel. Thanks for watching our video and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and give us a thumbs up if you liked our video. To be notified of our new videos please click the bell button. Also you can now click the join button to support our channel. And as always we would greatly appreciate all of your likes, comments and shares.